When history turns to legend and legends turn to myth, one truth remains. The truth of execution. Let's begin our tale. In the shadows of towering mountains, where the wind whispers tales of glory and valour and the earth echoes with the footfalls of those who've gone before, there lies a realm not so different from our own. A place where quests are undertaken, where teams band together against insurmountable odds, and where every decision can mean the difference between victory and defeat. This is the world of MMORPGs, where heroes are forged, Legends are made, and the art of execution is the key to success. But today, we aren't speaking of just fantasy. No, today we draw from this well of imagination to craft a new legend. A legend that will guide us through the labyrinth of business, where the stakes are no less dire and the rewards no less grand. Today, we will channel our inner fury warrior and spam execute. Now, roll that beautiful bean footage. Welcome back to CX Riot Radio, where we talk about CX and stuff still in a hyper-caffeinated state. I'm David. I'm the host here on CX Riot Radio. I am also known as the Caffeinated CXO. So, let's go. Before we start today's episode, we, me, I, am going to ask you to do a simple request. I want you, if you can find it, in your heart of hearts to like, review, comment, subscribe, and or share the show so we can make the show grow. That's it. That's the only ask I have. And if you could do that, if you would be so kind as to do that for me, I would be so, so pleased. So today, we are going to go on a journey on a journey through the world of Warcraft not really but it's kind of similar it's kind of borrows from there because I want to talk about spamming execute that's right if you've ever played a warrior you know what I'm talking about if you ever played a fury warrior you know what I'm talking about spamming execute why is it so important why should you do that why should you let your rage build up and then you're gonna spam that execute well all will be revealed that's right in the world that makes it sound like i had chat gpt write this but i didn't in the world of business, as in the vast plains of Kalimdor, every journey begins with a single quest. The quest is our mission, the very reason we set out each day with purpose in our hearts and determination in our steps. It is the guiding star by which we navigate the treacherous waters of competition uncertainty and challenge but not all quests are created equal there are the main quests those grand overarching objectives that drive the storyline of our professional lives these are the goals that if achieved bring us closer to our ultimate destiny and then there are the side quests important yes especially if you're grinding levels but not this not the central focus of our journey in both worlds one must be clear about which quests to prioritize for it is easy to be distracted by the myriad of tasks that beckon us promising rewards that may not align 
with our true purpose. As leaders, we must keep our eyes on the main quest while delegating or strategically timing the side quests that add values along the way. Think of Garrison Quest in Warlords of Draenor. Yeah. Great leveling experience. Terrible expansion. It is what it is. And then, when the moment is right, when the boss is near defeat, when the objective is within our grasp, we spam execute. Those of you who are familiar with what I'm talking about, for those of you who know, we know the thrill of that moment. The warrior, wielding weapons of great might and mighty magic, enters a frenzy, unleashing a barrage of powerful strikes designed to finish the enemy off swiftly and decisively. In business, spamming execute translates to those moments when we must act with relentless focus and intensity. It's when a project is nearing completion, a deal is on the brink, or a crisis demands immediate resolution. In these moments, we channel all our energy, resources, and willpower into the task at hand, ensuring that nothing is left undone. But just as the warrior must time their execute, so too must we be judicious in our actions. To execute too early or without proper preparation is to risk failure, to risk a wipe. But when the timing is right, when the preparation has been thorough, and the moment is upon us, we must not hesitate. We must strike with all the might we can muster. But, even with the most powerful warrior, even with the most powerful warrior, we must manage our resources. In the world of MMORPGs, there is mana to cast spells, energy to execute abilities, cooldowns to consider, and rage to manage. A warrior who exhausts their resources too early in the battle is a warrior who will not survive to see victory. In our realm, these resources take the form of time, energy, and focus. And just as in the game, we must manage them wisely. The temptation to push ourselves and our teams to the brink of, of exhaustion, of failure, is ever-present, and we must be wary of burnout. That silent killer, that assassin of productivity and morale. As leaders, it is our duty to ensure that our teams are not only performing at their best, but are also maintaining a sustainable pace. Time blocking, energy management techniques, and strategic rest periods are health potions, our way of ensuring that we remain effective in the long run. No hero wins a battle alone. In the dungeons and raids of the best games, it is the collective strength of the group that determines success. Each member of the raid has their role. A tank, <clears throat> a healer, DPS, that's damage per second, by the way. Those are the damage dealers. And <clears throat> each must perform their role to perfection if the group is to overcome the challenges before them. In business, our teams are our raid groups. <clears throat> the clarity of roles, the synergy between members, shit, I ran out of space. Anyway, the clarity of roles, the synergy between members, and the shared understanding of the mission are what, le what lead to success. When everyone knows their role and executes it with precision, the group moves like a well-oiled machine, overcoming obstacles that would crush individuals. That's right. Together, we can take down Ragnaros. 
as leaders, it is our responsibility to foster this synergy, to ensure that each member of the team understands their role and how it contributes to the greater goal. We must also be the ones to coordinate these efforts, much like a raid leader guiding the group through the strategic complexities of the task at hand. But what are those moments when the enemy is too strong? These, the challenge too great. These are the boss fights, epic battles that test every ounce of skill, strategy, and teamwork. The bosses are great in power. They often require multiple attempts to defeat. Each failure, a lesson in strategy and perseverance. How many times do we have to take out the trash mobs before we beat this boss? In business, these boss fights manifest as market challenges, competitive pressures, or unforeseen crises. They are the moments that define our careers, our companies, and our legacies. To face these challenges, we must prepare, strategize, and when the time comes, fight with every ounce of strength that we have. Failure, as in the game, is not the end, but a teacher. Each setback is an opportunity to refine our approach, to gather more resources, to train harder. And when we finally achieve victory, the rewards are all the sweeter for the struggle. The quest does not end with one victory. No, no it does not. In both worlds, the journey is one of leveling up, becoming stronger, improving our gear. Each quest, each battle brings experience points, new abilities, and greater strength. In business, every project, every challenge brings us new skills, deeper insights, and the confidence to tackle even greater tasks. We must embrace this journey, adopting a growth mindset that sees every task as a step towards mastery. Encourage your teams to learn to grow, to level up, to grind, to grind out those levels which will advance their career. Encourage them to seek feedback and to celebrate the small victories along the way. Every boss downed is progress. Every strategy learned is progress for it is through this process that we grow not just as professionals but as leaders and so we stand on the precipice of our own quests let us remember the lessons of the heroes of Azeroth let us define our quests with clarity focus our efforts with the precision of a fury warrior spamming execute Manage our resources wisely and lead our teams with the strength of a raid leader. I'm talking back in the day of real raids. Business is no less epic than the world of Warcraft. It is a place where legends are made, where the brave conquer challenges, and where the determined achieve greatness. So, let us set forth on our quest with courage, with strategy, and with the unyielding belief that victory is within our grasp. The adventure awaits. The time to execute is now. I'll see you next time on CX Riot Radio.